Okay, so here's the prototype that is made. It's really simple. I literally just put it together spur of the moment. Um, locks up, as you can see. So if you bring this up, which has a little bit of difficulty right now, it can oops. Start over. Okay, so here's the, I guess, claw, um, single action, not dual action, but it is, it's just a gravity blade here, and it has double locking mechanisms, so the first one would be there, locks in again, and it slides back down. Now, the mechanism is pretty simple in and of itself, um, they're double extension drawer sliders, first of all, so you can get a little further range of motion here than instead of just one. Um, this again, this is just a prototype, which is why it's made out of balsa and paper clips. But um, if you were to attach it, it does stick out far enough where you'd be able to do whatever you want with it. Um, not actually strapped right on right now. It does fit along your wrist if that's what you're looking for. And the mechanisms are pretty simple. If I come in real quick here, it's just paper clip slides along here, locks and pull to bring it back up and it slides all the way through again and it's the same down here except for this one's here and this one's a lot easier to make but it just comes right in and latches right there it doesn't actually latch so it starts moving forwards again which can be fixed if I actually take the time to just um, cut out a little piece there but it holds pretty well this one's a lot easier to actuate. It just goes all the way down. Locks again. But yeah, so fairly simple. You're not going to be cutting, cutting through anything with this, but you can. You it, if it wasn't made out of balsa, if it was made out of like aluminum or something, which is what I would make this out of, you'd be able to cut through apples in midair if you wanted, which would be kind of cool. You cut through any fruit pretty much, except for maybe a pineapple. But most drawer sliders cannot take the pressure that would be required to cut through drywall or anything even. I learned this with my hidden blades that I made. You can't really, you can't jam things through because it's going to break the ball bearings here. Um, that are right in the side of the sliders here. And that's a problem for any force ratings. I haven't looked up the actual pressure that a drawer slider can take. So you can't stab with them. Um, I'm going to guess that it's even weaker slashing. Um, just because that's not how they're built to work. And you can use something besides a drawer slider, but I think they're very convenient and really how often are you going to be breaking through walls with these, to be honest. But if that's what you're looking for, you're going to have to go with another design, not this one.